Welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Samasa in Paninian Grammar 2. As is our practice, we begin our lecture with the recitation of the Mangala Charana. Vishpesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat Charikarti Bariharti Sanjariharti Lilaya. Vishvesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat Charikarti Bariharti Sanjari Harti Lilaya In this course, we are focused on three types of important samasas in Sanskrit, namely the Avyayi Bhava Samasa, Bahubrihi Samasa, and the Dvandva Samasa. We have already studied Avyayi Bhava Samasa in detail together with the Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras, we have also studied the Samasanta Pratyaya Vidhayaka Sutras and then we proceeded to study the Bahuvrihi Samasa. We have in the previous lecture studied the general features of the Bahuvrihi Samasa, a very important type of Samasa in Sanskrit. The features of the Bahuvrihi Samasa can be explained briefly in the form of an equation presented on this particular slide, where you have x and y, two independent units, in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as the accent. There is also a plus sign in between the two, which indicates that x and y are semantically related. The speaker of Sanskrit decides to merge X and Y together and form an output in the form of one unit namely XY. So input is X and Y two units and output is XY just one unit. One unit in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as the accent. So the three features of the compound process in general are Aikarthya or Ekarthata, Aikapadya or Ekapadata, and Aikaswarya or Ekaswarata. As far as the Bahurihi Samasa is concerned, both X and Y, they do not assume the role of the head in the newly generated output in the form of XY. So none of them is marked with the bold characters as we did so in the Tatpurusha Samasa as well as in the Avyayi Bhava Samasa. In the Tatpurusha Samasa, out of X, Y, Y was always shown with the bold characters because Y acts as the head in the Tatpurusha Samasa. In the Avyayi Bhava Samasa, amongst X, Y, X was marked with the bold characters to show that X acts as the head of X, Y in the Avyayi Bhava Samasa. But in Bahuvrihi Samasa, neither X nor Y acts as the head, rather something independent of them, namely the Z, which is outside of the compound, acts as the head. Prayana Anyapadartha Pradhanaha Bahuvrihi. This is how the tradition sums it up. And this is why this Bahuvrihi compound attains a supreme status, a unique status as far as the compounds are concerned because both the constituents do not become heads, they become subordinate and the other meaning which is out of the compound that becomes the head. In general we have also said that the Bahubri compound becomes a qualification, a visheshana and then its forms are determined 
in accordance with the forms of the qualificand that it qualifies. Now, the Bahuvrihi Samasa is dealt with in the Ashtadhyayi at various places. For example, in 2.1 and 2.2 in the Ashtadhyayi, the Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras are stated in general. For Bahuvrihi to be specific, the Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras begin with 2.2.23, Shesho Bahuvrihi, and it goes up to 2.2.28, Tena Saheti Tulya Yogi. This is a small section of sutras in which rules are laid down for the processing of the Bahuvrihi Samasa. Incidentally, Incidentally, 2.2.29 is the sutra prescribing the Dvandva Samasa, Charthe Dvandvaha. Now, the Samasanta Pratyaya Vidhayaka Sutras in the Ashtadhyayi are stated in 5.4. For Bahuvrihi Samasa, the section that begins with 5.4.113 and goes up to the end of 5.4, that is 5.4.160, is a section in which we find sutras which prescribe the suffix to be added at the end of this samasa. Samasanta Pratyaya Vidhayaka Sutra. We also noted that and we also note that in this particular section, a subsection is such that there is no Pratyaya prescribed, rather there is a substitution prescribed. Then Swaravidhayaka Sutras, they are primarily stated in 6.2. 6.2.1 says Bahuvriho Prakritya Purvapadam, the Purvapada retains its own accent. And then from 6.2.106 up to 120, as well as 6.2.162 up to 177, these are also the sections dealing with the accent on the Bahuvrihi Samasa. This is how Panini deals with the Bahuvrihi Samasa in his Ashtadhyayi at different places. Let us now study the Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras with respect to the Bahuvrihi Samasa. The first one is 2.2.23 Shesho Bahuvrihi Shesho Bahuvrihi There are two padas in this samasa. There are two padas in this sutra, Sheshaha, which is Prathama Ekavachana 1.1, 1 slash 1, which means remaining, and Bahuvrihi, which is Prathama Ekavachana also 1 slash 1. What this simply means is that remaining compound is called Bahuvrihi. Remaining compound is called Bahuvrihi. And these sutras stating the Bahuvrihi compound are from 2 to 24 onwards up to 2 to 28. So let us revisit the question, what is Shesha? Shesha we saw means remaining or what remains. So the next question is, what remains? What does remain? From what is already stated, Ukta Danyaha Sheshaha, something that is previously stated and something then remains. So in order that something remains, you need to have some previous statement. What is the previous statement with Bahuvrihi Samasa? What is the meaning of Sheshaha in this context? So, before this particular sutra, in 2.1 and 2.2, the Samasa Vidhayaka sutras are 
stated. The compound prescribing sutras are stated. Remaining sutras, the other sutras, they are called sheshas. Now in 2.1, we have sutras prescribing the avyayi bhava samasa. Starting from 2.1.5, avyayi bhavaha, up to 2.1.21, anya padarthecha saudnyayam. And after that, the Tatpurusha Samasa is also prescribed from 2.1.22 onwards up to 2.1.72, the last sutra of the 2.1. In this section is stated in the Vibhakti Tatpurusha Samasa, the Dvitiya, Tritiya, Chaturthi, Panchami, Saptami Tatpurusha Samasa, and also the Samanadhi Karana Tatpurusha Samasa, or also known as the Karma Dharaya Samasa. Tatpurushaha Samanadhikaranaha Karma Dharayaha. This is stated in this section from 2.1.22 of up to 2.1.72. When we go to 2.2, we have sutras prescribing the Tatpurusha Samasa from 2.2.1 up to 2.2.22, including the Ekadeshi Tatpurusha Samasa at the beginning of 2.2 as well as Gatshashti Tatpurusha Samasa stated by the Sutra Shashti as well as Gati Tatpurusha Samasa stated by the Sutra Kugati Pradayaha. Then we have Pradi Tatpurusha Samasa also stated by Kugati Pradayaha and Upapada Tatpurusha Samasa stated by the Sutra Upapadam Ating. So, what is not stated so far is what is Shesha. That comes out as the immediate reaction of what is Shesha in the context of what we saw just now. Secondly, what is Shesha and we said what remains? What remains is Prathamantam Ityarthaha. What it means is that two interrelated subantas ending in Prathama, they are not it is stated to be compounded. So that is what is Shesha. In that sense, the Bahubrihi Samasa takes place. After having studied Shesha Bahubrihi and the meaning of the word Shesha therein, let us now proceed further to study the next compound prescribing Sutra, Samasa Vidhayaka Sutra, Anekam Anyapadarthe which is 2.2.24 Anekam Anyapadarthe Now there are two Padas in the Sutra Anekam which is Prathama Ekavachana 1 slash 1 which means more than 1 Now this word Anekam is mentioned in the Prathama Vibhakti therefore it becomes Upasarjana Prathama Nirdishtam Samasa Upasarjanam And since there are more than one Padas which are mentioned in Prathama, both of them will fight for occupying the initial position of the Samasa. Now the next Pada in the Sutra is Anyapadarthe, which is Saptami Ekavachana 7 slash 1, which means in the sense of the other Pada, other Pada out of the compound that is different than the constituents of the Samasa. The words continued are sup from Subhamantrite Parangavat Swari 2.1.2, Sahasupa from 2.1.4, Samasaha from 2.1.3, Samarthapada Vithihi from 2.1.1. And after having collected all these together, we get the following meaning. More than one interrelated subantas ending in the first triplet, namely Prathamantam, in the sense of the meaning of the other or outer word, get compounded and the resultant compound is called Bahuvrihi. I repeat, more than one interrelated subantas ending in the first triplet Prathamantam, in the sense of the meaning of the other outer word, get compounded and the resultant compound is called Bahuvrihi. I repeat, 
मोर देन वन इंटररिलेटेड सुबंतज दैट इज अनेकम एंडिंग इन द फर्स्ट ट्रिपलेट और प्रथमांतम इन द सेंस ऑफ द मीनिंग ऑफ द अदर और आउटर वर्ड अन्य पदार्थे गेट्स कंपाउंडेड समस्यते एंड द रिजल्टेंट कंपाउंड समास इज कॉल्ड बहुव्रीहि सो इज कॉल्ड बहुव्रीहि दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ टू पॉइंट टू पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फोर द इंटर रिलेशन बिटवीन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट सुबंतज इन अ बहुव्रीहि कंपाउंड इज कॉल्ड को रेफरेंशियालिटी और सामानाधिकरण्य को रेफरेंशियालिटी द इंटर रिलेशन बिटवीन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट सुबंतज एंड द आउटर हेडवर्ड इज दैट ऑफ द मीनिंग ऑफ द विभक्ति एक्सेप्ट द मीनिंग ऑफ द प्रथमा विभक्ति प्रथमार्थे तो न भवति दैट इज द ट्रेडिशनल स्टेटमेंट सो हियर इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ विभक्तिस विच मीन द फॉलोइंग द्वितीय विभक्ति डिनोट्स कर्मन वेन नॉट एक्सप्रेस बाय द वर्बल सफिक्स तृतीय विभक्ति मीन्स कर्तृ और कर्ण वेन नॉट ऑलरेडी एक्सप्रेस बाय द सफिक्स दैट फॉलोज द धातु वर्बल रूट नेमली थिंग चतुर्थी विभक्ति डिनोट्स संप्रदान पंचमी विभक्ति डिनोट्स अपादान षष्ठी विभक्ति डिनोट्स स्वस्वामी भावादि संबंध एंड सप्तमी विभक्ति डिनोट्स द मीनिंग नेमली अधिकरण Let us take the example. When the dvitiya vibhakti is used and karman is denoted, then this is what happens. So when the meaning intended is the village where water has reached, we have praptam udakam yam saha. This as the laukika vigraha, in which praptam and udakam these are the two padas prominently. and of course prapta is a, a kridanta word formed by adding the suffix t to verbal root ap with the preverb pr so we have pr plus ap plus t and the suffix t here means karta so praptam means one who has reached so who has reached udakam udaka has reached so water has bottle water level has reached or water has reached yam so yam indicates the karman sanyoga ashraya and therefore it is in also the dvitiya vibhakti so praptam udakam yam saha the word yam in this case is written in red characters as well as bold ones as well as with a underline to indicate that this yam is the linkage of the constituents with the anya padartha now praptam udakam yam saha is the laukika vigraha since the word anekam appears in prathama vibhakti in the sutra anekam anya padarthe both these words are eligible to get the term upasarjana by the sutra प्रथमा निर्दिष्ट सामसे उपसर्जनम एंड बोथ ऑफ देम वुड गेट द पूर्व निपात बट द सूत्र निष्ठा सेज दैट अ वर्बल फॉर्म विच एंड्स इन द निष्ठा सफिक्स ऑलवेज फॉल्स इन द फर्स्ट पोजिशन इन द बहुव्रीहि सामस एंड देर फर वी हैव टू प्लेस प्राप्त एज द फर्स्ट मेम्बर ऑफ द सामस सो वी हैव प्राप्त प्लस सु प्लस उदक प्लस सु both of them are in prathama vibhakti now the samasa saudnya takes place and then the pratipadika saudnya takes place and then suppose hatu pratipadika yoho applies and so we delete both the suits so we have prapta plus 0 plus udaka plus 0 and so we have prapta udaka and when we join them together we get the form prapto daka this is the finally derived compound output of the bahuvrihi compound now prapto daka is a qualification is a visheshana when we decide to use it in the sentence we add the samasa i will add the su pratyaya to it and then we get the form prapto dakaha so prapto dakaha gramaha the 
village such th- such that which has got the water levels reached so water has reached the village prapto dakaha gramaha what this indicates is there is an action denoted by the word prapt which is reaching and udaka is the agent of this action of reaching udaka means water and village which is the object what is being reached prapto dakaha gramaha so this relation of grama with prapt is indicated by the word yam which is marked in bold as well as italics bold as well as underline in the laukika vigraha and the process therein let us now look at tritiya vibhakti which expresses karta as the meaning relation between the constituents meaning and the overall meaning of the word so the laukika vigraha is udhaha rathaha yena saha udhaha rathaha yena saha this is used to denote the sense one who has carried the chariot now we have the laukika vigraha and then we get the alaukika vigraha udha plus su plus ratha plus su and then the samasa saudnya takes place and the pratibhadika saudnya takes place therefore we apply supodhatu pratibhadika yoho and delete both the sups so we have udha plus zero plus ratha plus zero and then we join them together and we get the form udha ratha udha ratha whatever is anya padartha that anya padartha acts as the karta of the action of carrying denoted by the verbal root vah in udha when we decide to use the word udha ratha in the sentence we add the suffix su to it so we have udha ratha plus su and then finally we get the form udha ratha udha ratha anadvan the bull who has carried the chariot so here the action is that of carrying denoted by the verbal root vah the agent is the bull denoted by the word anadvan and ratha is the object the chariot is the object let us now have an example where the tritiya vibhakti is expressing the sense of karana karaka the most effective instrument the meaning to be conveyed is an instrument which destroyed the enemy nashtaha ripuhu yena saha nashtaha ripuhu yena saha this is the laukika vigraha the word nashta has got the verbal root nasha to destroy nashtaha has got the suffix ta which means karma ripu is the karma yena is in the instrumental singular yena is highlighted as well as put in the bold characters to highlight the fact that the relationship of nashta and ripu with the anya padartha is that of the karana nashta ripu yena sah so we have the laukika vigraha nashta ripu yena sah then we get the alaukika vigraha nashta plus su plus ripu plus su so samasa saudnya takes place so pratipadika saudnya takes place so supodhatu pratipadika yo applies and deletes both the sups so we have nashta plus 0 plus ripu plus 0 and then we join them together we get the form nashta ripu nashta ripu now when we use it in the sentence we have nashta ripu plus su and then we get the form nashta ripu hu nashta ripu hu khadgaha this word which destroyed the enemy so we are making kharga the qualificant and nashtaripu as its qualification nashtaripu hu kharga ha and there is this bahuvrihi samasa and the relationship of karana denoted by the tritiya vibhakti is what is the relation between the anya padartha and the constituents of the bahuvrihi samasa now let us move ahead and look at the example of chaturthi vibhakti which denotes sampradana to be the relationship relation between the anya padartha and the 
पदार्थ ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स सो द मीनिंग इज वन फॉर हूम द ऑपलेशन इज ब्रॉट अपरहतम हवि ही यस्मय सहा वन फॉर हूम द ऑपलेशन इज ब्रॉट अब इन दिस केस यस्मय इज मार्क विद द बोल्ड कैरेक्टर्स एज वेल एज एन अंडरलाइन ओनली टू हाईलाइट द फैक्ट दैट इट इज दिस वर्ड दैट शोज द इंटर रिलेशन ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स ऑफ द समास विद द अन्य पदार्थ नेमली द संप्रदान सो वी हैव उपर ऋत प्लस सू प्लस हविस प्लस सू एज द अलौकिक विग्रह वेर एज द लौकिक विग्रह इज उपर ऋतम हवि ही यस्मय सहा नाउ वंस वी गेट द अलौकिक विग्रह वी गेट द समास संज्ञा वी ऑल्सो देर फॉर गेट द प्रातिपदिक संज्ञा एंड सो वी हैव सुपो धातु प्रातिपदिक यो अप्लाइंग एंड वी गेट उपर ऋत हविस एंड देन वी एट द समासंत सफिक्स एंड देन वी एट द सुप सफिक्स सू एंड देन बाय द सूत्र हलग्या भ्यो दीर्घात सो दिस सेप्रक्त हल सू गेट्स डिलीटेड सो वी हैव उपर ऋत हविस प्लस जीरो एंड देन वी गेट द फॉर्म उपर ऋत हवि ही एज द प्रथमा एक वचन उपर ऋत हवि ही उपर ऋत हवि ही देव दैट इज द प्रथमा एक वचन उपर ऋत हवि ही देव इट इज फॉर गॉड दैट द ऑब्लेशन वॉज ब्रॉट सो गॉड इज द रिसिपियंट ऑर द संप्रदान of the action of bringing as denoted by the verbal root ru with the preverb up uparut havi hi devah to summarize interrelated subantas in prathama are a necessary condition as input for a bahuvrihi samas prathamantam ityarthah the interrelation of the constituents with the other or outer meaning is however never that of the prathama prathamarthe tu na bhavati prathamantam samasyate prathamarthe tu na bhavati the interrelation of the constituents with the other or outer meaning is that of the karak denoted by respective vibhakti and the other relation expressed by the shashti vibhakti this goes to show once again that the samartha theory is based on the karaka theory this also shows the dependencies the outer meaning has with the action denoted by one of the substituents of the bahuvrihi samasa we continue studying this particular sutra anekam anya padarthe for some time now we'll continue studying it in even in the next lecture these are our references these are the texts referred to thank you very much